Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. I'm a money savings coach and I'm here to help you, yes you, be more intentional with your money so that you can make progress on your big financial goals and live the life that you love. For today's video, I'm going to share with you all our meat haul that we just did. All right, just to give you a little bit of backstory, the last time I just looked on my YouTube channel, the last time I went meat shopping and I posted a video, it was on January 10th. So we didn't do a big meat haul like this in February. We used Walmart, we used Target, we used BJ's, and we used meats that we already had from there. And we were traveling a lot in February. And so we just did a meat haul and we're gonna probably do another one mid-March as well because we just have a few packs in the freezer. So we spent, I'll tell you how much we spent after. So where did we go? We went to Freshfield Farms. Freshfield Farms is a butcher in Orlando. And basically they have a produce side and they have a meat side. And they have like all the things y'all. It's super duper cheap in my opinion as compared to like Walmart, Target, and even Publix. So when we need supplemental meats, we will go to those places I just named. But when we do our stock up hauls, because Bay is bougie. He prefers fresh fields and he loves, loves, loves their steak. So it's Sunday when I'm recording this and he is gonna grill for us tonight and um, he wanted to get some fresh steak. So we did our meat haul. So I'm gonna show you what we got from meat side and I'll show you what we got from produce side. And then I'll tell you how much we spent. Okay, first let's do the meat. So there's this giant pack chicken drumstick, y'all. Do you see this? It's six. 0.74 pounds for six dollars this could easily be like three if not four meals for us because even if we eat two at a time that's one meal that's two meals yeah it could easily be three to four meals um so what i'll do is i'll break this up and we'll cook some today for the grill and then the rest i'll put in individual freezer bags and freeze them out but six pounds of chicken for six dollars is insane all right when we go back again in march we're probably going to get a little bit more chicken than we got today then we have head on shrimp from Ecuador. These um, are a little less than a pound, but you can see it's $4.55. This one's $3.36. And it does have the head on, so Bay will just cut those off. So the shrimp, they have steak, chicken, shrimp, all that stuff on the meat side. Over here, you can see we got 2.7 pounds of chicken breast. I will put these probably two into a quart size bag or even individually because it's something that we can pull out the frost, have for lunch, or make tacos or something with it. So it's better to freeze those separately versus a big pack. And then we can move on to the steak. So Bay got us one T-bone steak. You can see this is $11.99 a pound. But look how fresh their steaks are, y'all. Like they cut them fresh in the butcher that we go to. We got... um. 2.39 pounds of ground beef so i'll split this up probably into about three meals so we'll have a little less than a pound but we'll be able to have this for probably two to three meals then he buy, bought this giant chuck roast so you can see it's 2.84 pounds but it's 15 dollars, and it's a giant giant roast he'll cook that in the crock pot or in the oven then his favorite filet mignon so he gets two of these and between me him and kinsley we will split um these three because it's such a premium you know cut of meat so we get two um filet mignons i wish they would sell them in a double pack then he bought a rack of baby back ribs these were what ten dollars and 97 cents for 1.62 pounds which is awesome i don't know if these are like on the grill plan for tonight but we'll see then we bought salmon 1.31 pounds for 14 dollars and then we also have some farm raised tilapia for six dollars and 49 cents so that's everything that we got from the meat side okay everything we got from the meat side and i'll tell you how much we spent and then over here we went to the fresh produce side so he got a bag of celery they had these uh, strawberries two for four dollars he got a five pack of green peppers. You can see they're $4.70. I think at Walmart, each green pepper is a little over or right around a dollar or so, so comparable. We got two bags of onions. They were two for $4.44. We go through a lot of onions, y'all, so we definitely, definitely need those every time we go. Bay is, you know, a chef, so he gets his thyme, which he loves, and he gets his fresh rosemary, which he loves to cook with these things, y'all. He got two big old uh, bulbs of garlic. Again, he's a chef. Um, Self-proclaimed. Here's one big red onion. He got some baby Bella mushrooms. Because when he makes these steaks, y'all, on the grill, he's going to saute onions and mushrooms. It's heavenly. 
He bought some of these little white potatoes, $3.23 for almost three pounds of little potatoes, which I think is definitely a great deal. And when you're buying them, you can actually see them versus at Walmart when you buy the bag, you can't really see inside of the bag that you are purchasing. But he'll use this for the chuck roast and then we'll just have potatoes on the side. And then we get a five pack of corn because we love corn on the cob. And then we got us one big old honey glow pineapple and he will slice this up for us and we will have pineapple, okay? So that's everything we got from the meat side and from the produce side. Now let's talk about how much we spent. So again, if you're local to Orlando, I highly suggest you go to Freshfield Farms, okay? Um, it's right near Pulse. And if you ever come here, um, and you're staying, even if you're like staying for a week with your family and you plan on barbecuing, if you have a rental car, I highly suggest you taking that ride and going to Freshfield and getting your like meat and stuff for the week if your family's like cooking at home because it's so much cheaper than going to Publix, okay? All right, so, and uh, it's on the way from, I'm pretty sure it's on the way from the airport, so you can make that stuff before you even get to your vacation house. All right, cool, let me get back to what I'm saying. All right, so... For everything that we got, it says we got 11 items. Well, I say 11.69 items. Let's see. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know why it says 11 point. Some don't count as a full item. Okay, so we got 11.69 items, 12 items, and our grand total was $117.02 for the meats. Okay, for the meats, that's what we got. And that... It's good. Our budget was to stay around 100 but I went back and I was like, we need more shrimp. And I was the one that got the chicken breast. So it's a little bit my fault that we went a little bit over because Bay is, he's good when it's his turn. And then on the produce side, our budget was $30, but we ended up spending $36.94. So altogether, we spent $117 plus $30 is $1. 47 it's been about 155 dollars i'll put the exact amount on the screen because i'm exhausted um i do not feel like doing the math and we got 15 items on the produce side and we spent um 20 i'm sorry we spent 36 dollars and 94 cents on the produce side so overall a great day 150 dollars. like i said we probably will go back to fresh field in about a month so around 200 dollars in meat is what we typically spend every other month. Every other month, I would say, is our consistency is kind of what we're doing. So we're spending about 100, between 100 and $200 every other month, which I think is reasonable because we really don't eat out. We eat at home for pretty much every single meal, okay? So I want you to let me know down in the comments if you go to a butcher or how you save on meats. I have this little green string I'm gonna get out of here. So if you are interested in learning how to shop with a purpose from me, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to get on the wait list or sign up for my coupon bootcamp. I'm not sure when this video is going up, but if you just go to my website um, and click on work with me, you will see the most updated way to work with me to either get on my wait list to get inside my coupon bootcamp or to directly sign up for the coupon bootcamp. So drop your questions down in the comments. I want to thank you all so much for your love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe out there as you are shopping. And as always... Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.